Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. John Barbieri. I'm a board certified dermatologist at Harvard Medical School and an expert in acne and rosacea. In this video, I wanna talk about dark spots. What causes them? What can we do to treat them? We'll discuss over-the-counter treatments, prescription treatments, and procedural treatments that can address these bothersome dark spots. So let's start by what causes dark spots. So when you have acne, that's inflammation. There's immune cells coming to the skin that are responding to the clogged pores and the acne bacteria that are there. And in some people, that inflammation, it causes their pigment cells in the skin, the melanocyte, to spill the pigment all over the place. And that pigment makes a dark spot in the skin. And even when that inflammation goes away, even when that acne bumps resolves, that mess that was made by the pigment cell, by the melanocyte, all of those melanin and melanosomes that are scattered in the dermis of the skin, they are stuck there. And it can take months, even sometimes a year or longer, for the body to clean that up and get the skin to looking like it was before. So what can we do about these dark spots that are often more bothersome and longer lasting than the pimples themselves? Well, the number one first thing we have to do is we have to treat the acne. If we don't stop that inflammation that's driving the underlying process, it's just gonna keep happening, new dark spots are gonna form, and we're just always gonna be behind the eight ball when it comes to treating these. So the number one thing we have to do is treat the underlying acne. And sometimes that means using a stronger acne treatment than we might use otherwise. That might be using a pill medicine like an oral antibiotic or an antiandrogen like spironolactone, or even using Accutane, isotretinoin, for someone who otherwise has relatively mild acne, because we really need to shut down the acne. We need it to be zero. We really need it to be absolutely gone. If we don't do that, we're not gonna be able to make any progress on these dark spots. So the number one thing we have to do is treat the underlying acne, and that's really the same way that we treat any other acne. We've got some other videos on how to do that. But what can we specifically do about the dark spots themselves? We're doing that number one thing. We're treating the underlying acne. What else can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is sun protection. Even in people who have skin of color and darker skin, sun protection is critically important because the UV from the sun is turning on those melanocytes. It's turning on those pigment cells in the skin. And if you remember, it's those pigment cells, the melanocytes that are making this mess that we need to clean up. So if we have more activation, more turning on of those melanocytes by the sun, those acne bumps are gonna to lead to worse dark spots. So we've gotta turn down the melanocytes and sunscreen is critical to doing that. In fact, even using a tinted sunscreen, which blocks some of the visible light as well, can make a difference here. And when it comes to what sunscreen to use, I recommend something at least SPF 30 to 50 or higher. And beyond that, it's really the sunscreen that you like, how it feels on your skin. Everybody's a little bit different in their preferences. Beyond sun protection, what else can we do to help with these dark spots? Well, we can use medications that help turn off the melanocyte. We talked about how the sun is turning them on. Well, there are some topical creams and even some pill medicines that we can use to help turn down those melanocytes. One of the classic ones that we use is called hydroquinone. This used to be available over the counter, but now really is only a prescription medicine. And this works by turning down those melanocytes. Now a challenge in using it in acne is that it's gonna turn them down everywhere. So if you put it on an acne dark spot and you get it on the surrounding normal skin, you can end up with a halo where you have a ring of lighter skin around that acne dark mark. And that doesn't look good either. So it's a tricky medicine to use and has to be applied very precisely. There's another topical medicine we use called azelaic acid, and this is available over the counter. It's very inexpensive and easy to get. There are also stronger prescription versions of this. And this is a really nice product for those who have dark spots from acne. Because one, it treats acne. It's a treatment that's FDA approved for acne. Remember I mentioned the number one thing when it comes to dark spots is treating the underlying acne. So azelaic acid is gonna help us do that. It's also gonna help turn down those pigment cells and it's a little bit gentler in how it does it than hydroquinone. It's a little bit more forgiving. And so we don't have to be as precise in how we use it. It's less likely to cause that halo effect kind of problem that we can see with hydroquinone. Another common topical medication that we use is called tranexamic acid. And this can be both a pill medicine, oral tranexamic acid, or it can be a topical medication that's often compounded with some other lightening agents. And this can be helpful, similar to hydroquinone, it kind of turns down that melanocyte activity. It does have some risk 
of that halo effect that we can see with hydroquinone, but I also think it's a bit more forgiving than hydroquinone in terms of our lightning agent options for those with dark spots from acne. Now, beyond trying to turn down the pigment cells, I mentioned that, right, the inflammation goes away, that spill has happened, how can we help clean it up faster? How can we help turn over the skin to get those pigment particles out? Well, one of the best ways we can do that are topical retinoids. Adapalene, that's available both over-the-counter and prescription, and then stronger ones like tazeratine can be particularly helpful for this purpose. And these work both by fighting acne, right? Our number one thing, we've got to fight acne. They're excellent anti-acne medications. They have anti-inflammatory properties too. But for this use, importantly, they help the skin turn over better. They help us get that dark spot to come out of the skin and then heal. And so topical retinoids can be hugely helpful when we're trying to address those dark spots left behind from acne. Other ways that we can help turn over the skin faster are chemical peels. We can use glycolic acid, which is one of my go-to ones, or salicylic acid, which I think in the setting of acne can really be helpful. These can be done by estheticians or in a dermatology office. And when done properly, chemical peels can be a very helpful strategy, both to address some of the underlying acne, but in particular, to help us turn over those dark spots to get them to heal faster. And then finally, we have some procedural interventions we can do. There are lasers. Um, sometimes people will try to use microneedling and other strategies to address these dark spots. These work by breaking up those pigment cells and by helping the skin turn over. The challenge with these procedural interventions is that they can cause injury to the skin. And as I mentioned, inflammation and injury to the skin can cause dark spots. So these procedures have a risk of causing worsening of dark spots. And so they really need to be done by someone who's got expertise in doing them well and properly, and they have to be done with care. So to summarize, if we wanna try and address dark spots and acne, these are caused by that inflammation, leaving behind a footprint by causing those melanocytes, those pigment cells to spill. And that can take a long time to get better. So ultimately, if we wanna heal them, we've gotta stop them from happening in the first place. Prevention is worth a pound of cure. So treating the underlying acne with effective strategies is the paramount importance when it comes to getting rid of these dark spots. But beyond that, we can use sun protection and lightening agents to try to help turn down the activity of those pigment cells in the skin. And then we can use things like topical retinoids and chemical peels to help turn over the skin to help those dark spots heal faster. So I hope this video has been helpful in arming you with information to approach dark spots and acne. If you'd like more acne and rosacea content, subscribe for our channel. We're putting out new videos all the time and check out some of our other videos that we have on the channel. And if you found this helpful, give us a like as well.